Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to a, a special edition of Mahjong Soul. There's a new event going on, so we're gonna spend a quick episode going over the Hand of Meow. And uh, all the things that are new in this event. Uh, the event's from 8.15 to 9.8, so it's already been a while, but it's a three week, four week long event. Quite some time to play this one. Whenever I start off for the new event, I always want to check the rewards, see what I can get and how to get it. What they want us to do is train Ichihime X amount of times, and then also enter Ichihime into one on tournaments X amount of times. So, the way we do that, the tournament, you can enter four times a day. All you do is you click this button, Ichihime will play in the tournament. So that's just a daily login event. And then training, you see these little cat food cans up here. You get a hundred to start and you get more by completing the daily missions. Daily missions are always the same. There's an extra three times five, 150 to gain by doing these rewards. 10,000 points, red slash Dora, Richie, don't deal in and play two matches. So pretty simple, and they're the same every single day. It's a very simple event, and if I have anything to complain about, it's this right here, entering Ichihime into the tournament. This is a daily login. You basically have to do this every single day. But all you do is you click this button down here. Ichihime will play based on our stats, and it'll simulate a bot game with your Ichihime, you know, competing against all these other characters. You click the button, and for the next minute and a half, you just have to sit here and stare as Ichihime plays Mahjong on her own. There's nothing you can do to influence the game. You just sit and watch. And you pray that Nobody repeats ever, because there are repeats possible. Um, I think the shortest game I've ever had was like two and a half minutes. Uh, longest game went up to five. And usually I, I just... I just go get like a cup of coffee, I, you know, pour myself a drink, take a quick bathroom break. There's nothing you can do during the tournament. You just sit and you watch. Oh look, Ichihime dealt in in the first round. Oh look, Ichihime drew out in the second round. Oh look, Ichihime chooses not to use Richie and deals in. Why? <laughs> Is this a thing? I think there's a possibility of a cool idea here, right? Depending on Ichihime's stats, she'll sometimes do like a yellow action which shows you that your stats influence the game in a positive way, right? If there was maybe like an emote popped up or it showed you the hand that she won with or any, literally anything happening, the match is over, Ichihime lost, and I'm just, I feel like I've lost two minutes of my life. And then you do this four times a day, every single day. <laughs> it's such a weird design choice. I, I don't understand it. Training, to go over in a little bit more detail, there's five options you can pick. They'll generally increase two stats, decrease two stats, and then increase your will. You can balance between two to make sure that you're always staying positive. And your increases are always more than your negative. So no matter how you play the game, you'll always end up increasing more than you're losing. Uh, the negatives are floored at three. They only ever get minus three. Your bonuses start at plus five. So five, 10, 20, you can go all the way up to. Uh, I'm just gonna spam my resting. So we got 12 points. My will's already floored at zero, so. I'm not losing anything out of this. And again, I'm just gonna sit here and mash the button. Hmm. 
Another two to three minutes wasted of my life? But look how powerful Ichihime is. She's gonna do so good in the tournaments, where she was at these stats just before and got fourth place. My first Ichihime at base stats got first place. Speaking of, if you read the tutorial for this game, it's like... When Ichihime wins a championship, something mysterious might happen. Oh! But I don't see anything. Aside from the rewards for training and clearing, I don't see anything special in here. Where is this mystery reward? If somehow on accident you were to happen to click the match log, you can see the games that Ichihime played and the places that she got. If watching her play the tournament on her own wasn't boring enough, you can review the games, the bot games that she played in, for whatever reason. I don't know why you would. And if there's no reason to check the match logs, then I would not blame you for missing this little button down here. This little trophy. This picture of Ichihime is your mystery reward for getting first place in the tournament. I don't even think this unlocks an, an, um, an illustration for you. I think it's just during this event you can open up this picture and marvel at how powerful your Ichihime is. There's also another presumable image for getting one of our stats to 999, which is just going to take time, but we're going to do it anyways. And it's just such a weird event. It's such a top to bottom weird idea. Like, why this? Why take my time and let me do nothing? Did I really have to train Ichihime to be more powerful in the thing that's just wasting time? I don't understand any of it. However, I will say this. There is a reason to participate, and I encourage everyone to do so. I believe this game has a unique reward that has never come out before. Tile backings are pretty common. They're a dime a dozen. They've been with every collab. Akagi had one, Saki had one. There's a bunch of just other backings. Tile faces though. This I believe is 100% new. I think this is the first tile face in the game. Unless I missed some of the other ones, but this is a decoration for your tiles in the game, your number of tiles are going to be different looking at this one. Let's see if we can actually see what that does on our thing. Yeah, that's the first one they've ever put in the game. So your one pin, your one dot, turns into this little cat fall in the middle. The bird turns into Ichihime in a peacock suit. Your characters have a a cat face at the bottom of them. It looks like the winds have little cats on them. And who knows what the red and green dragon look like because it shows you the white. But this, this is 100% premium. This is brand new. This is one of a kind. This is never before seen before tile faces. So if there's anything you want to do in this event, train Ishihime 50 times. Show up five days in a row. You don't even have to do the bonus missions, just five days in a row, train her completely, and you'll get the tile faces. The once in a lifetime event. Uh, there's also scrolls, which are, you know, always choice to get. Uh, there's a title you can get by training each of him 240 times. That's probably going to take some bonus events. There's an image, which is new, which uh, makes your startup a little bit cooler. But anyways, there's not anything really to do. We're going to play some games to get some more cat food cans, but that's all the event is, is you, you complete some daily missions and then you sit and watch Ichihime play by herself. So that's going to wrap up this quick look at the event. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned how to play the event. And I encourage everyone to get that tile face because that is one of a kind so far. I hope you have a good morning, a good afternoon, a good evening. Goodbye.